What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I bring you this little location for the 30th of June 2017. Okay, so this week is, uh, is located on corn beef, so you want to head straight to that corn beef reef and you'll see him in that dark, dark room in that dark, dark corner. Okay, so this week he has... Please, dog, don't start scratching when I'm trying to record a video. Get out! Thank you very much. Okay, so this week we have a leg... Oh, I'm a legacy engram. Remember, people, this will only give you that year one gear. So if you're after a year two leg piece, this is not going to give you that. So you'll be wasting your 29 strange coins here. For the Titan, we have the Glass House dropping at 350 defense, costing you 13 strange coins. This will offer intellect discipline, and in a total, it will equal 105. How much you need 108 or higher to be tier 12 compatible with a max stat roll of 111. But you can always re-roll these with them glass needles. If you want the glass house, but you don't like the roll, simple as that. Blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. For the hunter this week, we have young Ahamkara's spine, dropping at a 350 defense, costing you again 13 strange coins, offering intellect discipline, totally 96, I believe that is. With gauntlets, you actually need 96 to be tier 12 compatible, so these are actually tier 12 compatible. Max stat roll on a uh, gauntlets is 99, so yes, if you want to try and get more, you can, again with glass needles, but to be honest, they're fine the way they are. Increase trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade charge. Okay, for the warlock this week, we have the Starfire Protocol uh, dropping again at 350 defense, costing you 13 strange coins, offering intellect discipline. These in total are 136. With chest, you need 144 or higher to be tier 12 compat. Max stat roll of 147. So, yes, not quite tier 12, but again, glass needles are right there. If you would like to reroll these and try and get them, tier 12 compat. Okay, so these offer a uh, extra grenade charge. So yes, gain an additional fusion grenade charge. Simple as that. Uh, weapon of the week we have the Hawk Moon. Quite a beastly weapon, to be honest. Um, don't see many people using it. Uh, people always seem to choose the Palindrome or the Ice Luna. I'm not surprised because of the range and things offer, but this is still quite beastly, it really is. Um, so definitely worth your time getting if you haven't got it already. Okay, exotic weapon bundles this week. We have the Truth and Heart of Gold, which I'll show you guys on screen now. And we have the Beastly Meter Multi-Tool with Special Ups, which I'll show you guys on screen now. These will cost you 30 strange coins and cost uh, an additional 25 silver dust to purchase either of these. But yes, people, besides the usual, that is it for another week of Zer. Not the best week, but by far not the worst week, to be honest. But at least Hunters, we got something tier 12 compat. And these are actually quite decent gauntlets for PvP especially. But yes, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on that next one.